I just got this text message from Congresswoman Joyce Beatty, uh, and something happened today on the House floor that's nuts. Um, Republican Congressman Eli Crane was speaking, and they, they voted today on this uh, House defense bill, whether Republicans want to strip uh, abortion funding and some other stuff you know, from the bill. They're in a culture wars crap. Uh, so this literally happened, y'all, today on the floor of the House. Uh, and this is what you had a white Republican, a black female Democrat, watch this exchange. Arizona. Well, Mr. Chairman, though, that was unbelievably inspiring. My amendment has nothing to do with whether or not colored people or black people or anybody can serve, okay? It has nothing to do with color Mr. Your Speaker. skin, your, any of that stuff. What we want to... What we want to preserve and maintain is the fact that our military does not become a social experiment. We want the best of the best. We want to have standards that guide who, who's in what unit, what they do. And I'm going to tell you guys right, right now, the Russians, the Chinese, the Iranians, the North Koreans, they are not, they are not doing this because they want the strongest military possible. Gentlemen, I hope my colleagues on the other side can understand what we're doing. Thank you so much. Mr. Spen. It's going to be recognized to have the words colored gen- people. For what purposes generally seek recognition? I'd like to be recognized to have the words colored people stricken uh, from the record. I find it offensive and very inappropriate. Is a gentlelady asking for unanimous consent to take down the words? I am asking for unanimous consent to take down the words of referring to me or any of my colleagues as colored people. For what purpose is the gentleman from Arizona? Can I amend my comments to people of color? Gentleman wishes to amend his comments. Is the gentleman asking? Is the gentleman asking? Consent. Mr. Speaker, to have the word stricken. I didn't ask for an amendment. Is there unanimous consent to have the have the word stricken? Yes. Without objection, so ordered. So I want so just so some of y'all see some of y'all comments. Watch one of his fellow Republicans sitting behind him. Watch his reaction when white Republican Eli Crane says colored people. Watch this. Arizona. Well, Mr. Chairman, though, that was unbelievably inspiring. My amendment has nothing to do with whether or not colored people or black people or anybody can serve. Okay? It has no black people or anybody can serve. Okay? Do with whether or not colored people or black people or anybody can serve. Okay? It has nothing to do with whether or not colored people or black people or anybody. The look, he was like, he like, did, did, did he just say colored people? <laughs> this is who they are, Joe. <laughs> I, I, I have this habit that I'll admit, anytime I'm getting ready to take off my shirt, because I've got my glasses on, I naturally take them off, okay? So what happens is, even if seconds before I took off my glasses, seconds before I took off my shirt, for some other reason, right? The glasses aren't on, but I still go like this, even though I did it seconds before. When you've done something and you've always done it and it's so natural, even in an audience where you know you'll be penalized for it, where you know you can't do it and you're not supposed to do it, and you're talking about people of color, so you know to train yourself, you don't do it. The Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, Mm. the mouth speaks. And so therefore, he talked about it. Like he used to talking about it, like he done it before, and like he'll do it again. And that's what you have in the United States of America. We're still here. Uh, he is a Republican from Arizona, Larry. Roland, I spent, uh, you know, my former boss, Congressman Owens, I spent many, many hours on the House floor discussing bills and amendments. I got to tell you, I never heard that before. That's a, that's a new one. And... <laughs> 
Mm. You know, we can't be surprised because this is pretty much at least one thing with Republicans. They're consistent. <laughs> so I was surprised even when they have it stricken the way they do things now. I'm surprised he wasn't like, no, I said it and said it with his chest. Mm. But mm-hmm. I'm quite sure uh, he maybe thought, I don't know, maybe thought he was going up on Fox News, but he'll probably end up on platforms like we're discussing them this evening. But once again, it's pretty consistent with what we've seen over the last couple of years from the Republican Party, so I'm not shocked. Candace. He told on himself. That's what he does at home. And trust me, he says more. And I think what's also interesting was that the amendment that he was even fighting for to prevent race or uh, nationality in recruiting um, uh, afford any type of strategies and, and, and service uh, doesn't make any sense. I mean, you're not going to consider somebody's nationality um, when you're dealing with someone, somebody who might speak Arabic. You don't want to consider that when you're going into war with maybe a country that speaks Arabic or you to try to figure out the cultural differences uh, that might be um, in play when you're going uh, into war against other countries. Nothing that he made uh, said made sense in terms of the color comment or the amendment to begin with in terms of what we was fighting for. And none of us are surprised. Indeed, this is America. All right, folks, back to our whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. For decades, the tobacco industry has deliberately targeted black communities and kids with marketing for menthol cigarettes. It's had a devastating impact on black health. Tobacco use claims 45,000 black lives every year. It's the number one cause of preventable death. In the 1950s, less than 10% of black smokers used menthol cigarettes. Today, it's 85%. Ban menthol cigarettes. Save lives. When you talk about blackness and what happens in black culture, you're about covering these things that matter to us, uh, speaking to our issues and concerns. This is a genuine people-powered movement. A lot of stuff that we're not getting. You get it, and you spread the word. We wish to plead our own cause to long have others spoken for us. We cannot tell our own story if we can't pay for it. This is about uh, covering us. Invest in Black-owned media. Your dollars matter. We don't have to keep asking them to cover our stuff. So please support us in what we do, folks. We want to hit 2,000 people, $50 this month, raise $100,000. We're behind 100000 so we want to hit that. Y'all money makes this possible. Check some money orders. Go to P.O. Box 57196, Washington, D.C., 20037-0196. The cash app is dollar sign RM Unfiltered. PayPal is R Martin Unfiltered. Venmo is RM Unfiltered. Zelle is rolling at rollingsmartin.com. 